Queen's Academic Mentoring Team. This was designed for you, gentlemen. And we have something very special. We have something. 2018. I welcome you again to our second installment in our Elevate E series designed to impact your lives in a positive way, young men. Because every man has a story. And all of you all are going through things right now. And it's important for you all to know that you're not the only one. The tie tying process is a part of letting you know that we're all tied together as men. Because there are things you're going to be going through and that you're already going through that you're going to require the need of each other and adult men. You cannot become a man by listening to someone that's your same age. You have to listen to older gentlemen. Sometimes they're right, sometimes they're wrong. But every man has a story. If they're strong enough to tell you their story and let you know where they struggle, then that's someone you probably want to listen to. Ladies and gentlemen, help me welcome Jalen Lenzo. I'm the Chief Executive Officer of the Jalen E. Bledsoe Global Group, Flare Digital, Flair Digital Agency, and Jalen E. Bledsoe Productions. I'm 17 years old, started my first company when I was 12 years old. At that time, I was technology consulting, helping businesses develop their websites and apps. Today, I'm a consultant for a lot of celebrities. So let me ask this question. Who here has ever used a GPS? Okay, good. So I want to tell you something right now. Where I am right now is what we're going to consider point B. Say point B. Point B. Point A for me. Let's discuss this. I grew up, my parents had me at 16 years old. Who here is 16 or under? Who here is 16 exactly? Could you guys imagine having kids right now? Good. Okay? Could you imagine raising someone on your own right now, making them quote unquote successful. So, let me tell you this. I grew up, I went to Arrow Point Elementary School. Lived with my mom for 12 years as she was a single parent. I keep it real with you guys. I saw people, I saw guys abusing my mom at a young age. And I couldn't control it. So that right there is what I consider my point A. I mean, with that, I was living in Colonial Meadows. At that. That's my point A. But in a GPS, when we want to go somewhere, what do we do? Type in your destination, your goals, your vision, your future. At that time, I found a book from when I was in kindergarten and it said, what do you want to be when you're older? I want to be the president of the United States of America, the first black one. Well, Obama kind of ruined that one. <laughs> and the second thing, I wanted to go to Harvard University. This is while I'm in kindergarten, I'm seeing these visions. So in, in this situation, I had to begin to put in my destination, success being the president, success being a student at Harvard. And when you put in the destination in the GPS, what does it do? It takes you where to go. What does it do first? It begins to calculate your current position, understanding your point A. And the next step from that is how to get from point A to point B. And that's understanding the steps, the, the traffic data to get you there. So in life, when we have a vision and we have a future where we want to go to, it's our responsibility as our own GPS to begin to calculate and understand what the current system is. As a male who wants to be a doctor, what do I have to do to get there? Go to school, work hard. I want to be a lawyer. What do I do? Work, go to school, begin to practice law and take the test to become a lawyer. We have to understand the steps to get from point A to point B on your own research. And that's not simply going to school every day. That's, that's not enough. What's going to be the breaking point from you now and you getting to point B is taking it upon yourself to understand where you want to go. I started off coding. Who knows what coding is? That's building web websites, things such as Facebook and Twitter, and making those things work for users. I started in sixth grade. Did I go to school for it? 
No. <clears throat> no. I started by teaching myself out of books. I read 12 books on coding in a two week period and taught myself how to fluently code. Today I can code in HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP, and seven other languages to build platforms. And with that, I have not spent a dime on a college education yet. This is before college. Just so understand what you can do on your, on your own to get to where you want to go. You have to teach yourself. You have to continue to teach yourself the things you want to do. And understand what your passion is. So when that GPS begins to calculate our route and we, are, we understand what the steps are, we start going. And what happens if you make a wrong turn? What does the GPS say? Uh, Rerouting, re recalculating. And what happens if when you get back on track, you make another mistake, you make the wrong turn, what does it do? It says recalculate, get you back on track. But at no point does the GPS say, I'm giving up on you, I'm giving up on myself, time for you to go back home. It says, how do we get from here to your future even faster. I've learned this mentality, and I, I spoke on it last year, every company I went to, was don't let your setback cause you to sit back. Prepare for your comeback. We cannot allow our mistakes, our setbacks, to give to make us give up. Listen to this, there is never a right time to give up. There's only a good there's only a right time to keep moving forward. The future you want is up to you to achieve. You have to be the GPS that takes you from point A to point B. You have to calculate that plan based on the current standings. You have to be okay with failure. You know, I've learned, I've been doing this since I was 12 years old. I have four, I've started four total companies. Every one has been a successful so far. In each one of those I've learned, the success that I achieved in the end came from me failure, failing, failing making mistakes and being okay with it. I have a degree, but I didn't go to college. I have a degree in what I call failure. When you fail, you learn how to achieve other things in a much faster and more efficient way. Who understands what efficiency means for a business? What does it mean? Tell me. Make money. Yes. Being efficient by failing early, in the end, it's all efficiency, and it's the more money you make. So tell me what you can't do, you'll have a hard time finding it. As long as your mindset and you have a focus that's ready to go, you can achieve it. Like I said earlier, I've spoken at companies where I cannot imagine even being at. I've spoken at Facebook, I've spoken at Twitter, I've spoken at Google, I've spoken at Disney World, all expense paid trip to Disney World. Because I'm speaking and I'm teaching what I love. Let me ask this question. Who wants to be successful? Success. Think to yourself, how are you going to get there? You got to work hard, but let me tell you this first. In order to achieve success, success in your mind has to be proper. If your goal is to become a billionaire or a millionaire, you're not going to get there. Who's ever heard of Mark Zuckerberg? Zuckerberg, he created Facebook. Who's ever heard of Bill Gates? There we go. So they didn't start those companies to become overnight millionaires and billionaires. They started the companies to make lives easier and impact lives. Their passion was computers, so how can I apply computing, computing to changing lives? They created Facebook, they created Microsoft, they created these platforms, Apple, first to help impact lives. And because their value was in the lives they wanted to change, the wealth came later on. Bill Gates, how much does he work? Billions. A lot. Billions. A whole lot of billions. Who wants that? But first, what do you have to go after? Go after changing lives. Your true net worth is only found in the network of lives you change with the passion you love. You guys know who Steve Harvey is, right? Yeah. You know how much money he's worth? Yeah. Like 150, 200 million dollars. But you know what, what he does, what, what his job is? TV show. Make people laugh. Who wants 200 million dollars to make somebody laugh? I do. 
Right? So does, does that make sense? It makes sense. So let me ask you this. How are you going to get from your point A to your point, to your point E and think about that? And when we're okay with accepting failure, our success is going to come a lot faster. Repeat after me on this one. I will not let my setback cause me to sit back. Because while everyone else is laughing, I'm preparing for my comeback. Thank you. So here we go with the Tie to the Power of Greatness Pledge. I will operate with excellence. Repeat after me. I will stand up and stand up for. I will be the greatest encourager. I will own my life. I will aim for the stars and not settle for less. I will step up and step out on faith. I will positively influence my peers. I will do my absolute best. I will reject the idea of defeat. I refuse to be ordinary. I refuse to be a statistic. I will distinguish myself from others. I will elevate my thinking. I will set the rules. I will recreate the norm. I will devastate mediocrity. I will not cheat. I will not take the easy way out. I will make the grade. I will take responsibility for my actions. And last but not least, I will lead the way. All right, thank you guys for participating in that pledge. Hold on to that. You have now been connected to greatness.